August 1st, and we just picked up a ladder, and we're headed back to the house, or Myers, Myers or, or something. something to get some cleaning supplies, because we're going to power wash the deck. And we're going to try power washing the deck and see how well the power washer works, and, and essentially give it a test run to see if it's going to have the, the gusto to do the rest of the house, but we got the ladder to do the rest of the house. I don't know. Maybe our priorities are mixed up. <laughs> but we have it. But we have we it? We have it for when we need it. Okay. All right. Here we go. So we stopped at Myers to pick up some stuff, and we noticed... Focus, camera. Focus. There we go. It's a nice new Tesla charging station, which is super cool. Now if we can only buy them in Michigan. So we're out working and uh, really, actually really just trying out the wa power washer to see how well it works and I'm underwhelmed, I guess. I mean, it's nice that, to have it and it does work. I mean, I don't know if I, how well this is gonna show off, but I mean, you can, it's a little dirty and it does get the dirt off, but I think the, the problem is this guy is a little underpowered and it can get it off in tiny little with the little dot one, but I've, I've used these in the past with the the one I'm kind of using the spout or end or whatever this thing. Yeah, it's called, and you can get like an inch and just. But that was a big one, so it may just be it's underpowered. So I've finished this part of the house here. And with some help from Shannon scrubbing a couple spots. And then I noticed that this thing existed. This is a little end I found, like, clipped to the side of the pressure washer. And it, like, where, where was where? Because when I was spraying before, I was getting kind of results like this, trying to clean up the, the deck. I did a little test area. Where did it go? Oh, there it is. <laughs> and this is, like, two seconds. It was like, and it, and it just it was blowing it right off. So... I think that's going to be what I'm going to do next is take a take a crack at the deck itself with that attachment on and see what I get. So after about five minutes, I've got that about done. It's actually working pretty well, uh, and I don't know if I'm care enough to sand that last little bit off or whatnot, but but it at least is removing all the stuff that would fall off. So that's cool. Uh, there's a lot of deck left to do, so it might take a day or so to really do it all and get it all cleaned off. But then once it's clean, I say we paint this sucker. After many hours of work, it's clean, or at least as clean as it's going to be with power washing. So at least the deck area is cleared out, and I also cleaned off the house again <laughs> because it got everywhere when it came off. The outside still needs to be done, and these steps need to be done, but for a couple hours worth of work, I think it don't look too bad. I mean, and Shannon went out and picked up some nice color to put on it to protect it so we can cover it back up so it don't go horrible again. Yep, got the outside to do yet. And it was kind of a mess. And now someone's gotten into the pool, but nothing that can't be filtered out. It's no big. <sighs> That's a good day's work. It's the next morning. I'm kind of surveying the damage. Um, just kind of... <laughs> dirty and whatnot maybe I can sweep up a lot of that but yeah now you can actually see the deck it don't look too bad you know might take a couple hours to just kind of get the rest of the edges and whatnot but you know then the deck will be done with the main scrub and then yeah your bug and then I can move on to filling cracks and getting ready to prep for painting well that's the deck 
outside. Didn't get as, you know, necessarily maybe as clean as the inside, but, you know, blew off some of the paint that was loose. So that's done, and now the sun is starting to come around to this side of the house. So that should dry everything out. Now we can move on to the next stage, which is filling cracks like this. And getting things ready to then sand this whole, you know, because it's kind of rough. You can see that this is, this is kind of what we're dealing with. But we'll sand some of this down. And then we got a, a paint that's kind of more epoxy than paint. It's supposed to fill in gaps like that. So, um, I don't know. So, yep, so far so good.